Here we are at Mega Fest 2017 downtown Dallas, and I am peacock proud of this young lady right here. I remember her being half the size she was when she was in our small business class and she was the entrepreneur of the year at our luncheon. And what were you selling at that time? I was selling Groovy Girl. Groovy Girl. Fiesta Doll. Yeah. That was the name of my business. And now, <laughs> now I get to sit in my house and I go to social media, I go to YouTube, I go to television. You've got commercials for black people. Me. You've got all these famous people walking around and you're doing your show. And now you got... Kick back and chat with Amber Pickens. Kick back and chat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Andrew Pickens to Inner Spirit Entertainment and the Mega Fest floor. I'm Terry Allen. I am the local round town guy for Inner Spirit. So, kick back and chat. Look at the number of folks you see in here. Mm -hmm. Girl, who's out, who have you interviewed? Tell me about right, kick back and chat. I, it started off on, um, in May. I interviewed Corey Hawkins, um, Tony nominee actor for Six Degrees of Separation, Dr. Dre and Straight Outta Compton. He's done everything, Kong School Island, Walking Dead. So that's who it started off with. And then last week I got to, I was so excited because I got to go to American Black Film Festival and interview Mr. Spike Lee. Ah, Spike Lee. Yes, Erica Ash, Jesse T. Usher, um, um, Miss Sally Richardson. I got My to future ex-wife. Yes. I see. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about like, she's really in love with her husband. They are in love. We're gonna they, do something about they that. They talked a lot about their their love and just directing him and everything. And Miss um, Phyllis Stickney and um, Robbie Reed. I mean, it's been great. It's been I am amazed that this young lady that came in my office at age twelve is now interviewing people I hang out with. You were you interviewed Phyllis Yvonne Stickney? Yeah. I was. Uh, I remember when she was shooting uh, Die Hard Three. Oh, you know? really? And she came down to Atlanta, and we did a speaking engagement for women at the bookstore. Yeah, she's So great. tell me, how did Kick Back and Check get started, Amber? Well, it's just always been a passion of mine. Like, I love performing, but I've always looked up to Oprah. Like, to be straight, to be quite honest with you, in preschool, when everybody was saying what they wanted to be, I already knew the two women I looked up to, and that was, like, Debbie Allen and Oprah. So I knew I wanted to be a dancer, singer, actress, but then I loved how on Oprah's talk show it just wasn't a, it wasn't just like we're just talking but I loved how she spread she would spread wisdom with people make people have a transformation yeah. and I, I, whenever I looked at her shows I felt like whenever she touched something it turned into gold I just felt like she was such a positive you know image and I wanted to be like that oh, so. cool. well tell our viewers <laughs> It says here, real conversations, real people, real time. Tell our viewers what that means. So it means basically the same thing what I was just saying about Ms. Winfrey or Ms. Allen, people that I look up to. Just keeping it real. Like, I don't want to just talk about what they're doing on stage. I want to get to know who the person is. Like, earlier I got to speak to Robbie Reed, which is, you know, BET's vice president for talent and casting. She's amazing. But it was all, it's good to figure out, how did you get started with casting? Like, why are you so passionate about it? What else are you passionate about? She talked about her, how she has a foundation read for whole and it's about um, um, self-care wow. and you know stuff like that I think it's Amazing. really interesting to get to know what people do well, on and off stage well you come a long way now I have seen you on national television commercials yes. I've seen you on <laughs> in ad print ads modeling Yes. And, and all I remember is you were my pillow entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell me, how's it? How's New York? And, and tell me about. Tell, let the re viewers know about your Texas roots. Tell them where you're from. Okay, well I'm from Dallas, Texas. I, I was born in Florida, but I was raised in Dallas, Texas. And um, I guess before Booker T, it was W. E. Griner Middle School, right, where it, it has half academy, half like the little, not half and half, but a small little right. arts program. <laughs> but they really, they really encourage us. And you know, one of the, I remember drama teachers like best friends with Taraji B. Henson so you know people like that will come in and talk and just keep us focused like you know you may be from Oak Cliff but that doesn't mean you have to be like you know right. like you on the corner or something yeah. you you learn from this and doesn't mean you need to forget your past either like I'm proud to be from Oak Cliff Dallas Texas okay. and so from Oak Cliff it was Booker T which is you know the amazing the art magnet, school here yes, and yeah. Booker T was Juilliard I saw Say the Last Dance right. Elementary and I said I'm gonna go to that school one go. day I dreaded auditioning for any other school honestly senior year I only auditioned for the other ones because it, it it makes sense to, you know, have your plan B, B, C, D, E, whatever. But, and then after Juilliard, I booked um, Cirque du Soleil's Paramore. So that was my first Broadway job. That was and your that, Broadway job. And that's okay. been really, that was really awesome. I did that for this past year. And it was just great to learn about that and booking commercials are a different magazine ad. So I learned a little bit about modeling here and there. New York is great because you just have so many different artists. Everybody's hungry, ambitious, going after their dreams. There's a camaraderie there, right? It's, it's really great. And it's good to um, to have all of us we can support each other well do me a favor and tell our viewers 
for all those girls in Oak Cliff and South Dallas and North Dallas and Richardson mm -hmm. Plain, all those DFW girls mm -hmm. who are coming out and wanting to do what you do, tell them, give them some steps, tell them what they should do. I think it's very important, first of all, just to keep God first, because I feel like that's my foundation. I was like, you know, raised in the church, but I wasn't forced in the church. I really did understand that at a young age, the importance of having God in your life. I think that secondly, it's good to just have positive people that support whatever your dream is. If you have a whole bunch of negative people around you, then all you're going to do is be negative all the time. So if you, even if your family doesn't get it, they don't support you, you need to find somebody. If you can't find somebody, open up a book, open up a magazine, and just have that image on your vision board of, okay, this is what I really want to do. Because even I, I have a vision board. I think vision boards are so important. Oh, I love vision boards. Yeah, I, I like them. have they one work. in my closet, and yeah. I add a picture like every week. It's important. And just um, thirdly but not lastly, because, I mean, wisdom could go on forever. But really um, staying focused and always like pushing pushing forward throughout anything, because you're always going to have obstacles, and sometimes it's going to seem like the world is against you. I'm just amazed all this stuff is coming out of that beautiful <laughs> mouth of yours, Carly. I remember we were uh, you were 12 and we were working on your entrepreneur and so I am so yes. proud to have you here and as I ask everyone on the thing what is your definition of faith mm. What's my definition of faith? Well, well I, I think your definition of faith for me would be wins a Barbie. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a strong oh support system. Yeah, because faith really is believing in the unseen. And for me, like I said, having the foundation, my mom, and I call it my tribe. I just had these tribe of women that, you know, my, my grandmother and my mom, my auntie, and mm -hmm. all my god uncles and aunties. But they really just taught me how you just go on a, you go on a limb. You don't even know what's going to happen. You're going upstairs. You don't even see the steps. That's what faith is, just really right. believing that God, God is going to just have your back. He's going to be at the top of those stairs, even though you don't know where you're going. So I feel like that's what faith is, believing is, in the unseen. <laughs> that is an awesome lesson. And I see that in all your work and I see that in your spirit. So I know that you're speaking from your heart. And I want to say to all our viewers that are in the spirit here at Mega Fest 2017 that you've got to watch Kick Back and Chat. Where do we find you? You can go to kickbackchat.com or facebook.com slash kickbackchat. All right, let's look for it. You guys, go on there, make your comments, and let Amber know you saw an in the spirit of entertainment at Mega Fest. Bye bye. bye.